has come. Hello, Seeker. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor, Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. Now, in GTA 5, there's certain random events, hikers, hitchhikers, people like that, that can be picked up. But only Trevor has the option to deliver them to a cult called the Altruists. And the Altruists, well, they're kind of the baby boomer type failures, whatever, and they're cannibalistic, and they're crazy. Now, right now, I'm showing you where the altruist cult is located and placing a marker there for Trevor to deliver a victim. You deliver four victims to the altruists, and, well... Trevor ends up getting into, how shall I say, a shootout or a fight with them. But I'll let you show, see how it all transpires, because only Trevor has this option, and it will let you know when you can deliver a victim to the altruists. And I'll show you the three people I deliver, and then the fourth and final person, and the events that will transpire afterwards. The first victim is a woman who is hiking in the uh, mountains and foothills, and she's gotten lost. When Trevor picks her up, um, she seems all sweet. But the reality is she's not that sweet of a woman. In fact, she's kind of a little crazy. I'm lost. Can you give me a ride home? Please? Sure thing. I love hitchhikers. Now that thing in the upper left hand corner will tell you if he can take the person to the altruist cult. And I'm gonna take and put a marker on the map here to the altruist cult. Now, like I said, this woman is due to how should I say music playing in the background and fair usage and all that other stuff. I can't let you hear the conversation. But as you drive her to the altruist cult, you find out this is a crazy woman who, well, how shall I say, um, yeah, you're better off delivering her to the altruist cult. So I'm going to fast forward to that point. Hell, fella. What do you got? I heard you're interested in taking care of some lost travelers for a price. And so it is. And so it is. Leave the body, take the gold. Come on. Move. Move. A thousand bucks. Not bad. What's sad is some of the victims start to realize, hey, we're not in the right area. What's going on here? I don't recognize any of this. And Trevor then says, no, 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 don't worry. I almost feel sorry for them. But then again, if you hear some of them talk, you really don't feel sorry for them. So let's get on with the next victim. Don't be a dick, bro. Trevor, Dad. Totally fine. Just had a couple of beers. What are you talking about? I had like six shots each. Look at you. Will you two just make out already? Hey, can you give me a ride? Just so Boy Scout there can get his buzzkill badge. There's my car. Interesting is the take them to the altruist cult didn't pop up, but I checked the map, and sure enough, 
I can deliver this guy to the altruist cult for a quick thousand bucks. Yeah, he won't feel it. He's too drunk. And yeah, I try and get out of this parking lot, which is difficult. Again, due to music, etc., I'm going to have to fast forward through the journey. It's a six minute trip. That's why I think I didn't get that pop up for delivering people to the altruist cult. But remember, most random victims, if you check the map, can be delivered to the altruist cult. <laughs> I come bearing more gifts. You're good to us, fellow. So you keep saying. Move! Someone has been brought. It is a sign. And now on to victim number three. And yeah, this is going to be fun. And I'm putting a marker on the map where she will be located and pick her up and bring her back to the altruist cult. Hey, got room for one more? No, I think there's room for a little one. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills by the sign? I am using a different vehicle because I wrecked the other one. So I had to jack another vehicle. This woman, yeah. As you deliver her, you realize... You know, through her conversation, she's, uh, well, not a really good person. And since there's no music playing in the background, I can let you hear her talk. Uh, less of the old, please. I'm in the prime of my life. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years? Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been parting like a biatch. Lucky Yesterday miss! Was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Okay. And what's on top of the Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big lug. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me. What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? The phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. Look, would you tell him? Are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. What? Just shout it. I'm just some random guy not called Brian. Well, anyway, uh, not to be judgmental, but I'm going to be. She just sort of uses men and doesn't really care. And she's kind of, well, yeah, not exactly the best person in the world. So the conversation goes on. You hear more. I'm going to bring her fast forward to the delivery to the altruist cult. I'm bearing more gifts. You're good to us, fella. So you keep saying. Move! Uh, Someone has been brought. It is a sign. Victim number four is sort of a bridezilla. I know where she's located. And 
Well, I'm using an old Brady Games strategy guide to kind of locate where the random, so-called random spawning points are and find victims for the delivery to the altruistic cult. Can you please give me a ride? I can't do it. I can't marry him. In that case, jump on board. Just get me out of here, please. I live in Vinewood Hills, Kimball Hill Drive. Okay, I'm trying to follow her, her original route to begin with because her former jilted husband, or actually jilted groomsman, tries to ram Trevor off the road, but I figure I'm going to just try and deliver her to the altruist cult and deal with the guy when he shows up. And it's not too shortly after I turn around here and start driving her toward the altruist cult that he shows up. So you can listen to the conversation and then we'll get more into what happens when the former groom shows up. My things and put this all behind me. You must think I'm so terrible. No way! Power to you, sister! Screw the nuclear family! Oh my god! No! I think that's him! He's coming after me! The hell do you think? Now, you can't really outrun the guy. There's no way to avoid him. What you will wind up having to do is essentially let him ram your vehicle stop your vehicle, he's going to get out of his vehicle, and once he gets out of his vehicle, you can step on the gas and leave him behind, and that is the best way to deal with him. If you kill him, it ends this mission, and then you got to try and pick her up again and deliver her to the cult. Makes you look fat. I bang most of the bridesmaids, some of them twice. Oh, Who the God, hell do you think you are? Nightmare. Everyone said you were a psycho host I beast. This. If I can't have you, no. Eventually, he will drop off the map because he doesn't get into his truck and continue to pursue you, and you deliver her to the altruists, which then, because she is the fourth victim, things don't go quite as planned. Bro pass. You know, he told me... <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? There's a couple more lonely hitchhikers for you to rehabilitate or whatever. But you know, just give me the money, all right? I really don't give a shit. Maybe you should, friend. Come on. Whoa, what, what is this, huh? Come on! We shall be free once more. Altruism, the greatest good. For the greatest generation, we shall boom again. He has come. Hello, seeker. Hello, finder. We kneel before you. We prostrate our continuing youth and vigor at this altar that has been sent to us. Hello, Hello finder. Prepare to be made pure. Purity is everything. Pure flesh, pure blood, purity. Master, look! Kill him and make him pure! I'm closing the pervert camp now! The internet has driven him crazy! See, he understands nothing of sacrifice! You're the worst 
gold I've ever seen! Stop trying to relive the 60s! It's over! I'm doing history a favor! The new boom will not be televised! His generation has betrayed us again! We will boom again! You can't stop us! I'll kill all you freaks! You're the worst generation in history! After you eliminate all the altruists, there is actually a lot of money and other valuable stuff in this camp. And again, you got to eliminate all the altruists. But the last one is far enough away where he's not quite a threat to Trevor. I'm going to pick up all the uh, ammo and then go and kill the last altruist. Make him pure! Now that the altruists are cleared out, there is an opportunity to make a lot of money because there is stashes of cash hidden amongst the compound here and you got to kind of look around but I'm going to fast forward to where the first stash of cash is first stash of cash is here by this cabin and it's 25,000 now there was other stuff I was running around randomly, like weapons and other things. There's even body armor here. But you got to kind of look around, and it's actually in the cabins, all cabins here on what would be essentially the north end of the compound have cash stashes. You can't get into the cabins, so don't try and get into them. But the next group of cash is here. And now it's another 25,000. And again, you can't get into the cabins. But I can't ride the bike here. That's a bummer. Now, the next stash of cash is on this cabin's front. And you see it glowing right there. And you can grab it. 25,000. Already $75,000. And the final stash of cash is run around this junk here and you see there is I'm going to try and shoot this I'm just goofing around here yeah that goes up but it burns nothing it does burn though now the final cash is not where I'm going I'll fast forward to it Final stash is on the porch of this cabin, and that's $25,000. $100,000. That is a lot of money. Now, if you go up to the radio transmitter, there is a piece to a letter or I think a UFO part. I'm going to fast forward to that part. Do 
do not go outside the camp to get to this because there are mountain lions. Yep, here's what I'm talking about. It's a letter scrap, which you would have to normally collect in order to get 100%. And it doesn't matter which characters collect the scraps or the UFO parts. It's dependent on getting 100%. You have to collect all the scraps. Everything has been looted from this camp. And again, you don't want to go outside the camp. There's wildlife. I did it once. And yeah, Trevor got eaten by a mountain lion. So I'm going to fast forward to where Trevor gets back in his vehicle and heads on his merry way. travel back into the camp to check it out a little bit to see if I missed anything. I didn't. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will not miss out on videos when I post them. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by. They're cute, but they're stupid.